Welcome to Thrifty Beauty Reviews. Today we are bringing you the Maybelline Fit Me line. The model that we will be trying this on today wears 110. The great thing about this is once you pick up a foundation and know the color, you can pick up all the coordinating other items to go with it. They have a concealer, a liquid foundation, a stick foundation with powder core, and a matte powder, which I'm going to be using as a setting powder. Just a second, and we'll be right back with our model. Okay, and we're back, and this is Lindsay, our model. And she is in the shade 110 from the Fit line. She's going to get out some foundation. Okay. And what we're going to start doing is I'm using the Soho Beauty Sponge. And it helps really well to just give you a airbrushed finish. And Lindsay, do you have more oily skin or dry skin? Oily. Oily? Yeah. Okay. And do you get oily in just certain areas or? I'm not sure. Um, basically. Okay. Well, we're going to start out with the concealer to cover up some of the spots that you don't want to be seen. And you just come in and just dab this and this is the fit me and it's in number 10 it's to match like I said once you figure out your shade it's easy just to get the corresponding sorry we got a doggy who's wanting to play on the window and just anywhere you have excess redness or maybe a blemish, blemish spot Tone in my opinion, you usually think of the concealer is a little bit wider. Okay, and now we're gonna go with the Maybelline Instant Age Rewind. Oh, nope, nope, no, we're not. Sorry, guys. We're gonna go with the Garnier Nutrice Skin Renew Anti Dark Circle. It is this great little product that has a metal roller ball. We picked this up for what $10.50 a day at Walmart. Mm -hmm. And all you do is you slot it under, it helps to reduce any of those discolorated veins. a shinier finish, like a luminosity, I would say definitely set that with a powder. Um, instead of buying a separate setting powder or using a separate setting powder, I lost my brush. I actually picked up the Maybelline Fit Me um, powder in the same shade, 110, and I'm going to use this as a setting powder for the foundation. spot and you wanted to use this one instead we're just going to quick demo she doesn't need this obviously and you see this goes on in a more powder finish and as you rub it in that it just feels like satin that really does just feel like satin but that is the stick which on another review we may go more in depth on and I'd say just finish it up with a little bit of color I'm using the hard candy blush crush baked blush in 127 honeymoon and that's like a beautiful peach luminous color. It's not too much color. And it comes out. And I'm 
Clean Fit Me foundation and powder and concealer. And so until next time, guys, thanks for watching. Okay, guys, now that you have seen the actual application, I'm going to go ahead and say I'm definitely not a professional. You may have a different method of applying the foundation, and that's fine. Um, for the most part, I just wanted to do a quick run through after the video to show you, to introduce you guys to each of the products individually um, as I had used them. Now, these are the main products I used on her face. I only used two additional products, which I will show. The first one is the Fit Me Maybelline, the um, liquid foundation. This is a number 110, which is the lightest shade they have, which is really nice. If it's not a pink undertone. It has a little bit of yellow, which is nice for me. It is. A, it does have an SPF 18. Now, the company boasts that it has a translucent base with pure pigment for a flawless finish. It does give a moist, dewy consistency on the face. I would definitely say to use this if you have drier skin. I would not recommend this if you have very oily skin because it does have a moist, wet consistency that um, I do recommend setting with powder. Now, their powder is a very light, translucent powder. I have not seen any commercials on this one, so I can't tell you what they're exact, you know, what they're actually saying this is supposed to do. Um, on the back, it says that it matches natural, natural tone, it blends seamlessly, it lets skin breathe. This is an, also in 110, which is the name of the 110 is Porcelain. It has a very nice sleek packaging. You would think it's a square. And however, it, if I can get it open here, one moment. It is actually a circle. And this is the 110. Sorry, I have OCD about not leaving residue. I'm trying to keep my packaging nice. And it does have a under mirror. There's a mirror underneath here and an applicator. I would not use the ap applicator. I use a nice, um, big, fluffy brush to apply this. And I use this as a setting powder for the Fit Foundation. Now there is another version of the foundation if you happen to have combination to oily skin, which works better with your skin tone. I picked up both because during the seasons I sometimes get a little oily T-zone, and I thought maybe this would work a little bit better in that zone. This is the Fit Me Maybelline Shine Free Foundation. This one boasts on their commercial that it is a shine free formula, that what you have here as I open it. You can see the two colors. Let me make sure you get a good view on this. Okay. As you're seeing the, the two shades there. The outer ring is a gel foundation, while the inner ring is an anti-shine powder core. So you're getting both of those in an easy swooping foundation. Um, I blended, I would blend this out with my fingers or with a brush I don't know that I would use the beauty blender just because of how powdery this really is now I definitely can say that it does absorb oil it does leave a powder finish and it feels like satin I mean it, it's really nice so it's a nice one and the last product that I used from the Maybelline fit me line now there is another one I think there's a bronzer and a blush but they are so much like the regular Maybelline bronzer and blush that I just didn't bother and this is the concealer and this is in tin which matches the 110 line you know as you can see they're all coordinated by number which makes it easier that if you don't really realize what shade you need if you find the right foundation color which at Walmart if you pick them up these run about 550 a piece so, you know, under a little under $25 for the entire set, which that's unheard of for high-end beauty. It's even a good deal for drugstore beauty because, you know, I've paid 10 to 15 for a good foundation and these are really both very good foundations. Again, if you have oilier skin, you're going to want to go with the stick and if you have drier skin, definitely the liquid cuz that's just the way it works out. The Concealer concealed a whole lot better than I expected it to. This is actually quite a good concealer. I would say definitely for uh, blemishes, 
Not so much for under eye because it matches, it blends almost too seamlessly in with this. So it's just like, you know, a thicker version of the foundation. It has a very thick. Now, I did use two other products, which I promised to explain. I used the Hard Candy number 127 Honeymoon in the Blush Crush Baked Blush. And it's just a nice peach tone, but it doesn't come off this way. It comes off as a shimmery highlight color. I should make this open and you can see the purple veins, but as I'll show you, it does not come off as a peachy tone. It comes off as a more of a shimmer. So it's a good highlight, especially for light toned skin. And especially when you're using a yellow base, you could use this to bring in a little bit of pink because you don't want too much. And the only other item that I did use on her face was the Garnier Nutrice Skin Renew Anti-Dark Circle Roller. It's a 2-in-1 roll-on eye care and concealer. It's supposed to be instantly corrects dark circles and brightens. It has lemon essence, mineral pigments, and caffeine in it. Um, the box, which when I had seen this review, I looked all over for this and I was like, nobody sells it. But it turns out it's with the skincare stuff. It's not with the makeup. And it's in this box, as you can see here. And when you open it up, you get it for the first time. You can shake it. I didn't. I should, probably should have. And it's a little bit messy, but it goes on nice. It's got a nice cold metal ball that keeps it cool when it goes on. And then your product. And it rolls right on, as you've seen. We put it underneath her eye. And it does the job of lightening and reducing the, 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 the darkened circles very well. So I thought this in combination was really good. Now, if you really want a more in-depth on these, just check out um, my next video, which I'm uploading tonight as well. That will go in-depth on different concealers, because this whole week has been back and forth to the drugstore, trying to find a very good concealer for my dark circles. So, if you want to check that out, you can always subscribe so that you get updates on when the new videos pop. And um, I definitely appreciate everyone. There is a contest running right now. Um, I don't know when it will close. I'm five or so comments in. 25th comment will win a nice little set. And I, this video is going to do a little surprise that we don't know yet. Is I am adding, if I can find it, I'm adding one more item to the prize because I picked it up. It was limited edition and I fell in love with it. I'm so sorry, guys. I'm trying to find this product I picked up just for you guys. Well, I did. I swear I picked it up. I picked up two because I fell in love with it. Okay. It's just, just going to take me just a second. I'll let you sit here and eagle those products there. This is getting annoying. I might have put it back in my other box. But it is another Wet n Wild eyeshadow palette in some very vivid uh, shimmer tones. I will be sure to at least throw in a photo at the end of this video for you guys. So that is pretty much all the time we have. And until next time, guys.